monitor. This comes very well packaged. The foam does a good job of protecting the monitor. And as we open this up, we see the 15.6 inch monitor. Now, on the side, you have your connection points. You have your control buttons here for the screen itself. And then it does have the case already attached to the device, but you can remove it if you want to. So let's go ahead now. Let's uh, hook this up to a PlayStation and see how that works. Now you can see that we have this connected to a Sony PlayStation 4. And now you can use this with most any other gaming system like Xbox or other consoles. It's very simple. All you have to do is use the supplied HDMI cable. You plug it into the console and then you plug it in to the little side port over here uh, into the portable monitor. Turn on your PlayStation and you're ready to start gaming or watching videos. And the nice thing about this monitor is it does have speakers and it is a full 1080 display so you have high definition gaming uh, and movies as well so uh, very very user friendly and again great clarity in the screen itself so let's go ahead now let's demonstrate how to use a cell phone on this monitor and we're going to be demonstrating uh, Samsung Note 9 which you do need to use cell phones with a type C connection in order to use it with this portable monitor so let's go ahead and check that out so if you want to use your cell phone with this portable monitor, it's really simple. First, you need to make sure you have the Type-C connection. We're using a Samsung Note 9. All you have to do is plug it in, and you just have to wait a couple seconds. And now you can see that this cell phone is now being mirrored with this portable monitor. So you can see anything I do is mirroring my cell phone. Now a really neat function here, if you go to the top options and you'll look for the Samsung DeX, we'll go ahead and hit that button, and now it turns it into a more traditional tablet computer. And another neat function on your cell phone here, again, scroll down the menu, and you can go ahead and use your cell phone as a touchpad to control the pointer on the screen. So I don't know if you can pick that up there, but you can use that even double click and close things out so this acts as your cell phone acts as your mouse to control the pointer on this screen so now you can have a more traditional looking computer with the use of your cell phone but again if you don't want to and just want to mirror your cell phone it's really easy just to switch back and now you're back to mirroring so now let's go ahead and let's see what this portable monitor looks like when we plug it in to a laptop to act as a second screen so whether you're using a PC computer or an Apple computer, it's going to work exactly the same way. And today I'm demonstrating on a laptop, that's a PC, but again if this was a MacBook it would work exactly the same. With the supplied HDMI cable that comes with a portable monitor, you plug it into the computer and then you plug it into your portable monitor, wait a few seconds, and now you can see we have the computer screen on the portable monitor and I can actually use the portable monitor to search for things like YouTube or anything else. It acts as a second screen when you plug it in to your computer. But I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to show this on an even larger PC, uh, not just a laptop. We'll try it on an actual home computer to show you what that screen looks like as well. Now we have the portable monitor hooked up to a home computer. Now this would work exactly the same if this was an Apple computer. So whether it's a PC or a Mac, this demonstration works exactly the same. Now with the right computer, you can have multiple monitors connected. As you can see here, we have two primary monitors and we have the portable monitor down below. Now right now, this portable monitor is acting as a third monitor. And to show you what that looks like, we can take the web browser in the first window, put it to the second, and now you can see it on the third window. So you can use this portable monitor as a third computer screen or a second, however many you have. But again, you need to make sure you have a computer that is capable of handling more than one monitor. Otherwise, it will just mirror 
the computer that you're on, not make a second screen. But in this case, on this home computer, you can do three computer screens with the help of this portable monitor.
ViewSonic's exclusive View Split software allows you to create an ideal and customized working environment on any ViewSonic screen, from desktop monitors to large format commercial displays, so that you can instantly and easily maximize productivity. To install, just download from the View Split product page on the ViewSonic website or from the driver and software section found on any product page of the ViewSonic website. Double click the View Split icon on the desktop or click on the notification tray icon. The View Split homepage opens. Select a predefined template. The template you choose is applied to the ViewSonic monitor selected as your main display. Then simply drag the window of your application into the desired View Split window. The View Split window will turn blue. Then drop the application. The window will position and resize automatically. To create a customized template, click the Tool icon from the Customizable Template section. Then select a template from the predefined template section. The template layout you selected appears on screen. You can customize the template by dragging and resizing the red borders. Click the Save icon to save the customized template. You can save up to six different templates for maximum flexibility. To learn more, visit ViewSonic.com.